Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for 11 years and today I'd like to share Psalm 115 verses 12 to 18. Here's the word of God. The Lord has remembered us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both the small and the great. May the Lord give you increase, you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heavens, but the earth he has given to the children of man. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any who go down into silence. But he will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Psalm 115, 12 to 18. Here's the poem I wrote based on this psalm. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. The Lord is faithful and steadfast in his love. He cares for his people. He supplies all the needs of those who love him. God never fails or falters. The Lord keeps his covenant promise to those who fear him. He pours his blessings to those who do not get lured by sin. Choose the way of the righteous. It leads to everlasting life. The wicked do not fear the Lord. They will deteriorate and die. Blessed are you who worship and praise the God Almighty. You will have an increase in your offspring and have plenty. There will be an outpouring of favor from the Lord himself. You will not be overcome by your enemy's plan and tactics. Let us praise the Lord who has sovereignty over all things. Fear the Lord, for he alone has total control of everything. Reflection. What, is it, what does fear of the Lord actually mean? Why does the world twist this phrase? And how do we manifest the fear of the Lord in our daily lives as Christians? The word fear has a very negative connotation because to fear is actually linked to something dangerous. So if we think of the fear of something, like for example, we have like a claustrophobia, we have the fear of the spaces, but usually the fear is a result of an experience that we've had that we know that that experience is dangerous for us. <clears throat> so, the fear of the Lord for the ones who do not know God will be very different from the fear of the Lord who knows the Lord. So for unbelievers, the fear of the Lord is actually a judgment. It's a judgment already as they experience the judgment because of God's wrath. Because God is not just love, He's also wrath. In other words, He hates sin. He hates evil, so he would judge those who do evil. So to fear the Lord would probably mean that they need to, uh, they know that they are going to be guilty of something for them to fear the Lord. But some may not because some unbelievers don't care about anything. So in, in the perspective of Christians, the fear of the Lord is a positive one because <clears throat> we know that the Lord is sovereign. We know that the Lord created everything. We know that the Lord gave us all these things for us to use so that we can glorify Him. So to, to fear the Lord means to give Him reverence, to give Him awe, to worship Him, you know, to, to make sure that you follow what He says. So, why does the world twist this phrase? Because the worlds do, do not want to be responsible for anyone. They just want to do and follow their selfish nature, which is do what they want. So, that's why they twist the fear of the Lord. So, in how do we manifest that fear of the Lord in our lives? We manifest that by having a daily relationship with God if not moment by moment. Um, 
people will think like how do you do that when there's so many things to do but we always forget that even our life lives here in this world is supposed to be lived for him it's not to be lived for ourselves so if you are a Christian and you know who God is you know that you're supposed to be dependent on him on everything so to fear the Lord will be to depend on him so that's one manifestation of the fear of the Lord a constant dependence on God they are not individualistic they are not um, <clears throat> They're not isolated. They, they usually consult God on everything, and they do not have a high regard of themselves. That's one manifestation of the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is a gift of the Spirit. Nobody can get it unless the Spirit gives it to you. So if you're a believer, that you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, that He is your Savior, He is your Lord, then you automatically get that from the Holy Spirit. So it is still the Holy Spirit that allows you to have that reverence and awe and love for the Lord. So another way of manifesting the fear of the Lord is to follow His commands. Whether someone is looking or not, we need to follow His commands because He's a God of the Spirit. He's a spirit, so He wants us to worship Him in spirit. And that's one way of worshiping Him in spirit, by following His word. And another way of manifesting our fear for the Lord is to have a daily time for Him and daily reflection on His Word and, and meditating on His Word day and night as Joshua says in His Word that we will be able to have a complete deep intimacy with the Lord by having this, this life as something that we offer to live for Him. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.